I think the biggest impact has been people move away from the notion of big plans to agile, rapid experimentation. They move away from the notion of what's the most important thing we can do to what's the most provocative business hypothesis that we can test. To what extent do those business hypotheses reflect our core capabilities and competencies versus insights into our customers and clients that we wish to explore? Are these the kind of hypotheses that are commodities that anybody could do a test or an experiment in? Or are these, the, are these hypotheses a source of fundamental, differi fundamental differentiation and fundamental value added? And then what kind of experiments can we design? What kind of prototypes can we build? What kinds of models and simulations can we run to gain greater insight into testing that hypothesis, into running? that experiment. So we trans the organization gets transformed away from big planning, big think planning, to quick, rapid, what I call lightweight, high impact experimentation towards transforming not just their products and services, but their customers and clients. And that's pretty, that's pretty profound. The real problem is that too many organizations have a process and a plan, and their measure of effectiveness and their measure of success is how well do we comply with the process, and is this a good enough plan? And they have basically gone to a Procrustean bed, and they've, that's, they've constrained themselves. They ignore or minimize or simply don't appreciate that the ability to do more experiments, cheaper experiments. The, 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 the transformation that's occurred is that we can do more cheap, high-powered, high-velocity experiments and tests now than were possible even a decade ago. This is the whole notion of Moore's Law. This is the whole notion of changing the economics of exponential experimentation. The costs associated with managing innovation risk and exploring innovation opportunity have collapsed. They've gone down by literally orders of magnitude. Things that used to cost millions of dollars now barely, barely cost thousands of dollars. But too many organizations are committed to legacy processes, legacy plans, and unfortunately, legacy cultures where they believe that analysis is more cost effective than experimentation. They're wrong. They're wrong. And the success of an Amazon, the success of a Google, the success of a Facebook underscores how wrong they are.